Today in the news, Nvidia copies AMD and the RX 7600 looks a little more promising than I thought. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. years ago, I believe in 2019, AMD made a pretty big move. They partnered up with Samsung to introduce their RDNA graphics into their smartphones. That was a big deal until Samsung released the actual phone that would use uh, RDNA graphics, the S22 Ultra specifically the one with the Exynos chip. Unfortunately, it was not the groundbreaking chip that we thought we'd see. It was pretty good though, while it pales in comparison to the Snapdragon chip at first glance, when we're talking about sustained performance, so like continuous gaming, like half an hour of gaming, it actually manages to beat it, but still, it's nothing groundbreaking. Now, after this, guess who wants to do the same thing? Nvidia, of course. According to Digitimes, Nvidia and MediaTek are actually in talks to integrate the green team into their processors. Apparently, that could happen as early as next year. MediaTek, in case you didn't know, is one of the big four or five companies that design high-end chips for smartphones. You got Qualcomm with the Snapdragon, Apple with the A&M chips, Samsung with Exynos, Google with I forgot the name of it, and of course, MediaTek in the top spots. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what Nvidia comes out with, and if we're gonna get DLSS on phones. I mean, FSR hasn't come out to phones yet, but uh, let's stay hopeful. Speaking of GPUs, let's talk about the RX 7600. That's probably why you clicked on this video and what you're waiting for. It's AMD's answer to the, I guess, unreleased 4060, or maybe to the 3060, or the 66, 50 XT? Who knows? Mid-range GPUs might be as weird as the last-gen low-end ones. To recap the specs real quick, this GPU is based on the Navi 33 chip at 6 nanometers, has 32 RDNA 3 compute units, which means 2048 stream processors. It will come with a disappointing 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. I say disappointing because there's no evolution in the memory compared to the last generation, except for a meager 0.5 gigabits per second increase in memory speeds compared to the 6650 XT. But still, this is not a 50 or an XT model. This is the RX 7600 plane. Will it be both predecessors? Yes. Famous last word. By a lot, I'm not so sure. Probably not the crazy, what was it, 47% that AMD said for the 7900 XT and XTX, but I believe we're looking at about 10 to 15% faster than the old 600 series, according to my sources. Remember, the 600 series has always been aimed at the 1080p crowd, and RDNA 3 is actually pretty good at lower resolutions. So since core count doesn't change, memory speed doesn't change that much, and clock speeds on RDNA 3 are a little bit higher than RDNA 2, well, I'd say 15% faster is a safe bet. And that's against a 6600 XT and 6650 XT, GPUs that were released at 379 and up. Price-wise, I've heard from leakers that the RX 7600 has a starting price of 299, and the recent French retail leak also points to that number. Now, sure, the price difference between you know the last generation and this generation is skewed by the crypto boom, making the prices way higher when the uh, last generation launched. But it's still in line with the MSRP for the generation before that, the 5000 series, which had the uh, 5600 XT at 279. So 299 isn't that bad. Plus, AMD's MSRP recently has been pretty respected. You can find 7900 XTX for MSRP everywhere, and the 7900 XT sometimes even sells for 10 to 15% less than MSRP. So that's good news. I guess this is kind of the hear me out moment. It looks like it will kick ass, the 7600. We're far, and I mean far away, from the rumors that said that the 7600 series would match a 6950 XT. I mean, who thought that would be real? I mean, sure, I thought it. But knowing that the price is fair and that performance is definitely aimed to beat higher priced last gen GPUs, like the 3060 12 gig and the 6650 XT, it looks like it will be popular. By the way, just as an aside, the 6650 XT smokes the 3060, so 
keep that in mind. But it doesn't matter, we have about 10 days to wait before reviews pop up because yes, that's the release date. I believe it's the 25th. I bet AMD will cater to people who have like RTX 1660 Ti's or uh, RX 5700's or maybe 2060's. I mean, it's finally time for y'all to upgrade. It's been what, four, five years? So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. In any case, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, check out here, I'll put it here, uh, a video, just different type of content that I make. <laughs> Take care.